Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com. Here with some thoughts about the post-fight conference um, following the Vitaly Klitschko, Derek Chisora fight that ended in a melee. You know, one of the reasons I love boxing, love it, is because you can't make the stuff up. If you saw it in a movie, you would say, this is patently absurd. And um, really, one of the best parts of the sport is the trash talking. It gives the fighters an opportunity to step outside the ring, in a sense, and show us their personalities. Also, a lot of the sport is um, two different camps being firmly convinced that uh, they're better than the other camp, and they want to tell you about it before the fight. So um, I've always enjoyed the trash talking. You know, um, a couple of examples that come to mind that I think actually help the sport and create folklore is um, a referee before a high-profile rematch saying to the fighters uh, in the middle of the ring, right before the fight, uh, do you have any more questions? And uh, Antonio Tarver saying, I have a question. What's your excuse tonight, Roy? I thought that was good. My own personal favorite. It's a little bit more subtle. It's a old-time type thing. Was um, a trainer, an Angelo Dundee type guy, who had several of the top heavyweights. Several of them who uh, had fought for a title. And... Um, the opponent that night was on a tier through the heavyweight division. It was Joe Lewis. And Joe Lewis enters the ring. He gets to the middle of the ring. He doesn't even look at his opponent. He looks at the trainer. And he says, you here again? <laughs> I mean, I'm laughing now. I just think uh, this is the stuff that makes boxing. Um, Vernon Forrest, relatively unknown, showing up to a Shane Mosley post-fight press conference and saying, hey, champ. When are you going to give me a shot at the title? And reporters literally having to figure out who Vernon Forrest was and the fact that Vernon Forrest had beaten Shane Mosley when they were amateurs, right? That's boxing at its best. It's in movies. Rocky Three, right? Mr. T shows up at a public event where fictional champion Rocky Balboa is and says, Hey, champ, when are you going to give me a shot at the title? Right? T even gets distasteful and starts talking about Rocky's wife. Well, let me just say this. And I know people are saying, oh my God, how could this happen in boxing? All I'm saying is, um, you know, that post fight press conference was the best of times as well, of, well as the worst of times. As we hear about boxing authorities investigating whether to revoke uh, Derek Chisora's license, whether to revoke retired David Hayes license. And as these fighters have to come forward and um, give their reasons as to why it happened, let's remember that at times this post-fight conference was spectacular. First, you had the promoter for Vitaly Klitschko talking smack to David Hay. I thought that was great stuff where the promoter says, hey, hey, you can't talk your way back into this fight because you have no titles. I thought that was spectacular stuff. I thought the whole idea of David Hay showing up to the press conference to say, hey, when are you going to give me a shot at the title? Didn't we have an agreement to fight why are you backing away from that agreement? I thought that was spectacular because keep in mind, David Hayes, a former heavyweight champ. He fought Vitaly's brother. He's calling out Vitaly. It's kind of like a history with, you know, a lot of statements. I thought that was great stuff. I thought Derek Chisora saying to David Hay, hey, David, how's your toe? I thought that was great stuff. Right? I mean, I thought that was great stuff. I thought David Hayes' response, you've lost your last three fights. <laughs> I thought that was great stuff. 
So let's not let's not forget that the trash talk was actually great trash talk before things unraveled. Derek Chisora should never have left the stage, right? Um, you know, in my opinion, too, given that boxing history is such that guys always show up to press conferences to challenge champions. In fact, people may remember in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, you know, I remember Lennox Lewis being in the front row of a Riddick Bow fight. He was on the broadcast team, just like David Hay. And I remember Riddick Bow leaving the ring, walking by Lennox Lewis, and the two guys having words, and Lewis saying to Bow on camera, bring it on, bring it on. Right? That's boxing. You know, that's the sport. And so, granted, this press conference got out of hand, but let's not try to take the trash talking out of sport. Let's not try to end traditions where guys are talking smack at a post-fight press conference. I thought it was spectacular that I think it was, I said promoter, might have been Vidley's business manager, but I thought it was spectacular that the business manager was talking smack with uh, a former heavyweight champion. And uh, I thought that that press conference was thoroughly entertaining until Derek Chisora got off the stage. Uh, the only change I would make going forward is that, uh, you know, I would encourage fighters to stay on the stage. Let's keep it to smack talking after the fight. I have no problem with a David Hay, you know, telling Vitaly, hey, when are you going to fight me? Have no problem with that. Uh, I have no problem with Derek Chisora saying to David, hey, hey, how's your toe? I thought I thought that was great. Where we kind of crossed the line was when Chisora said, say it to my face, and then got up and walked toward Hay. That's just too combustible. Um, this is professional sports. Guys have egos. They've worked awfully hard to get to where they are. They have images. This is boxing. They have entourages. Uh, they need to protect their image. Um, everything's a brand. And... Um, Leaving the stage, not a great move. So all I could say to the British authorities is understand the sport you're purporting to regulate. Right, Regulation and boxing, that's an interesting concept. But understand the sport you're trying to regulate and don't overdo it. Right, right now, two of the hottest names in British boxing are Derek Chisora and David Hay. <clears throat> These guys have made a lot of money. Right. Don't come down and do something stupid where someone's license is revoked and that athlete then has to leave your jurisdiction to engage in a championship fight. I believe at one point David Hay officially was a uh, resident of Turkey for tax reasons. Right. Um, these guys have enough money where they can switch jurisdictions if they have to. Everyone should just view this as an outlier event, um, you know, that's atypical. Uh, if you want to have the guys publicly say how embarrassed they are, okay, fine. That's good and dandy, but don't revoke anyone's license. Don't deprive us boxing fans of their talents. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here on YouTube. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com and theboxinggame.blogspot.com where we discuss outside the ring issues. Thanks for watching.